can testify that my life has been built on the foundation that was preached to me by my father, lived out by my parents. My life was built on that. My future, my marriage, my child, everything has been built on this foundation. This is what keeps us when things are happening that we don't fully understand. This is what anchors us because we're not sure that we can trust God that God is going to withhold something good from us if we obey him. But if you're willing and obedient, the Bible says, you will eat the good of the land. Don't focus on the good of the land. Focus on being willing and obedient. you're not designed to carry. And so I need you to cast all these cares, uh, some of the cares that you don't fully understand, cast those cares upon me. Why? Because I love you and I care for you and allow my grace, uh, which is sufficient in your weakness, to sustain you. Don't be troubled. Uh, There's a place that God has for you with him in his presence. Uh, I'm going to make sure that you are right with me. I am the way. Uh, There is the presence of God, and God rewards you with his very self, with his presence. Uh, The reward is the anointing of God. The reward is the grace of God. Your destination is smack dab in the perfect will of God, in the presence of God. I want you to see it until it drives you. I want you to see it until it drives on the sacrifices. You're going to give up anything that you need to give up. Place in God. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. I'll 
rough. God, you're my closest friend. In you I live and I have my being. Do you want to draw closer? I need to draw closer. To thee. Oh, you're all. Every breath. Let your rivers flow. Oh, you're wrong. Every breath.
Come on, if you're excited, make some noise. Come on, shake yourselves loose. I know this is a little unorthodox, but look, feel free to come down to the altar and worship this morning. We're going to go forth. We're going to move in the spirit of freedom and liberty. Come on, let's go forth. We're going to sing about Jehovah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, clap your hands. Yeah, 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 clap your hands, yeah, here we go, he shames every idol, he reigns without rival, he goes by the name of Jehovah, take it with me. Jehovah, he speaks into nothing, yeah. And darkness goes running, yeah. He goes by the name of Jehovah, yeah. Jehovah. One voice, can we sing? Say, call. Call the name, say. Call the name. Yeah, say. Call the name. Jehovah. Jehovah. Say, all I pray. All I pray. All I praise. All I praise. All I praise. All I praise. Belongs to him. Belongs to him. Come on, move in the room. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. His foes, his foes will be silenced. Yeah. He's fighting for Zion, yeah. There's no other God like Jehovah, Jehovah, yeah. yeah. Jehovah, his arms never tires. His eyes are like fire, yeah. There's no other God like yeah. I need some minutes. Come on, sing. Say, call the name. Sing it out, yeah. Call the name, yeah. Call the name. Yeah, Jehovah. Say, all I pray. All I praise. All I praise. All I praise. All I praise, yeah. Belongs to him. Come on. Sing it out. Say, call the name. Call the name. Call the name. Call the name, yeah. Call the name. What's his name? We say all I pray, all I praise, all I praise you, belongs to him. Clap your hands. Come on, Weedy, come on. If you're excited to be in the room, make some noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Jehovah Nisi fights your battle. Jehovah Nisi fights your battles. Sing it with me, say, yeah. Woo! Jehovah Nisi, yeah. Come on, team, come on. Yeah, Jehovah Nisi, yeah. Jehovah Nisi, fight your battle. Yeah, Jehovah Jireh, yeah. Jehovah Jireh, meet your need. Yeah, Jehovah Rapha, heal your. Jehovah Rapha, heal your body. Yeah, Jehovah Shalom, be your peace. Come on, these are the names of God. Come on. Jehovah Nisi. Yeah. Jehovah Jehovah me. Yeah. Jehovah Rapha. Yeah. Jehovah Shalom me. Jehovah One more time. Jehovah Nisi. Yeah. Jehovah Jehovah Yeah. Jehovah Rapha, yeah. Jehovah Rapha, yeah. Jehovah Rapha, yeah. Jehovah Rapha, yeah. Jehovah Shalom, be your peace. Here we go. We call the name. Say, call the name. Call the name. Call the name. Call the name, yeah. Call the name. What's his name? Come on. Jehovah. Say, all I pray. All I pray. All I praise. All I praise. All I praise. Call the name of Jehovah. All I praise. 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 All I praise.
Jehovah come on Jehovah Nisi Jehovah Jireh me show me who's a God that can heal your body yeah Jehovah Shalom yeah come on one more time Jehovah Nisi Jehovah Jireh yeah yeah Jehovah Rapha, heal your body. Jehovah Shalom, be your peace. Everybody clap your hands. Because what the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, yes. Everybody clap your hands in the room, yes. Yeah. 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 Jehovah. Make some noise in Durham. Come on, we get the better to make some noise for Jehovah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So call the, call the name. Call the name. Yeah. Jehovah. All I praise. All I praise. All our praise belongs to him. Such so hands call the name. Jehovah. Yeah, all our praise. Last time be belongs to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Lord, yes, Lord. Do me a favor, stretch your hands. Come on. If you came this morning to receive from God and not leave the same, God, let us not come and leave the same, Father. But we want an encounter with you. We want an encounter with you, Jesus. And God, we say you are more than able. You are able to do exceedingly above all we can ask or think, Jesus. So it doesn't matter what problem we came in this sanctuary with, Father. We know that you have the power to do it, God. You're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And we believe it. Come on, stretch your hands. So open up your mouth. Put words of affirmation, words of praise in the atmosphere. Tell them how much you love them, how faithful he is. Come on. Come on. We push past how we feel. We push past the tiredness this morning. Come on. Open up your mouths in the room. More than able, come on, let's go for it, friend. Keep your hands stretched, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I want to hear words of prayers. Come on, come on. Open up your mouths. Yeah. When did I start to forget? All of the great things you did. When did I throw away faith for the impossible? How did I start to believe you weren't sufficient for me? And why do I talk myself out of seeing? In miracles, you do miracles. You are, you are more than able. Come on, we are a big choir in the room this morning. Sing it out, you are more. Say, you are more than able. More than able, come on. You are more than able. Who, who am I to deny what the Lord can do? Yeah, it's easy for you guys. Come on, boys, can we stand up? Come on. Now I see all that I have. Oh, I got my. 
Sing it out, come on. Cause he won't. Come on, let's encourage somebody this morning. Don't give up. Yeah. Yeah. No music, just sing. Come on. Don't give up on Cause he won't. Can't you feel this love in the room? Yeah, don't, don't give up. Cause he won't, yeah. He won't give up on you. One more time, get it in your hearts. Don't give up. He won't give up on you. Cause he won't. Cause he won't. Last time real big. Cause why? He's able, yeah. yeah. Hallelujah, yes. Come on, we just praise this morning. Come on. Come on. Come on. I dare you to step out your comfort zone this morning. Come on. He's able, yes. 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 Come on, look along. Come on, come on. Come on, somebody feel free this morning. Chains are being broken this morning. Come on. Come on. Somebody's being delivered this morning. Come on. I put up your mouth in the room. Yes. Oh, wow. 
Alpha and Omega. We worship you. Yeah. Heaven sound like what does heaven sound like? It said the angels are crying, Holy, 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 holy. I want to tell y'all something heaven is not quiet, heaven is very loud. Come on, come on, where's your worship? Yeah. I told y'all today was unorthodox. Come on. We pushed past our limit this morning. Come on. Come on. Come on. New postures in worship. Come on. Do something new in his presence. Come on. Do something new in his presence. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming in the room this morning. He's meeting us 
next to you. Tell them how much you love them. And as you take your seats, you can pay attention to the monitors for the announcements. Love you guys. Good morning, WCC family and friends. My name is Parrish Watson, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to service today. We pray that you are blessed in today's service and that you come back and join us again. In times like these, it's really important that we stay connected and informed. So here's the rundown of everything you need to know about what's happening here at WCC. Hi, are you new to our WCC family? Welcome to you. Please join us for anything you hear in today's announcements. We also invite you to stop in our guest lounge or at our welcome desk in the lobby directly after service. We would love to say hello. The WCC Care Ministry, in partnership with the Carlton Center, is facilitating a virtual grief share program that meets on Tuesday evenings through April 30th. You don't have to go through the grieving process alone. With the grace and the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, we will walk alongside you through this challenging life experience. Please visit the Church Center app for more information. Gonna go deeper in the Word? Join us at 7 p.m. on Wednesday evenings in the month of March for a special series of midweek classes taught by Pastor Paul Arthurs. The topic of the March classes will be deliverance. All are welcome to meet us at our Kelstream campus and participate in the opportunity to hear and discuss truths found in God's Word. Calling all high school juniors, seniors, and college students. Join us this summer for a mission trip to remember. We are heading to Dangria, Belize to minister to the children with the Power Pack Vacation Bible School. We'll have opportunities to witness to and love on all that we need, and we will have a service of vision for the community. There are three ways to participate. First, pray for Belize and our ministry there. Second, consider signing up to go. We need missionaries who love God, love people, and are ready to serve. And third, you can support a student missionary by donating to their trip costs. Visit our church app for more details. Thanks so much for joining us today. For more details of any of our announcements, be sure to visit our Church Center app, our website, and our social media sites to stay up to date. Enjoy the rest of the service. Praise Good the morning. Lord. Well, thank you. Good morning. Good morning to you, too. How you doing? Ah, pretty good, pretty good. All right, it's been busy, but God is good, God is faithful, and we are excited just to, just to be in the presence of God. I'm telling you, listen, give the worship team uh, another God bless you, we're an outstanding. They just make it easy to enter in and to forget everything else that's going on and just focus on the goodness of the Lord, focus on God's love, and God's faithfulness. You know, worship speaks of your undivided attention. You can't multitask in worship. Uh, but worship demands uh, your attention, your allegiance, your focus. Uh, 
when you are going into the presence of God, in his presence, nothing else matters. He becomes all in all. And so this Friday, we are going to continue in the presence. Something special happened at the beginning of the year during our time of prayer and fasting. And God began to recalibrate. It was a very frightening thing because normally we have uh, a very strong agenda. We are going to hit this topic, pray for this thing, and we have a strong prayer list. Nothing wrong with that. But this year, uh, we felt God calling us to launch out into the deep. And so for a pastor, it's kind of frightening because I don't know how this thing is going to turn out. I don't know what's going to happen. And he does exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. So sometimes it's our thinking that is limiting us. Now, it's not that God does not want you to use your brain. Uh, the Bible says that we worship God with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. But sometimes God wants to take us beyond what we've experienced thus far to reveal something new in our lives, something that no eye has seen. And so in our times of prayer, God has taken us deeper, and I encourage you to come out. I encourage you to bring your families. Uh, and we're going to soak in the presence. Uh, there's no other agenda than the agenda of Acts chapter 13, which says, as they ministered unto the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit spoke. And that's where God separated the Apostle Paul and Barnabas. He separated them. And so in the presence of the, of the Lord, there are some things that are going to fall off. There are some things that we're going to enter into, and it's only by you experiencing the presence of God. And so come out on Friday, 7 o'clock. Uh, the worship team is going to be with us. And we're just going to flow as the Lord leads us and directs us in prayer. The Bible says we don't know what to pray for as we ought to. Sometimes we come in prayer and we just come with our problems. We come with our list like God's Santa Claus. And God, the Holy Spirit, would say, I know what things you have need of before you ask. I don't want you to come asking me for anything. I've already given you all things that pertain to life and godliness. I just want to love on my children, and I want to receive uh, the worship from our, uh, my children. And that's what we're going to do on Friday. Uh, if you agree with that, say amen. amen. So Friday, 7 o'clock. Also, I want to encourage you. Uh, in March, we're going to start on a teaching. There's not going to be a lot of frills. We're just going to open up the Word of God and allow the Word of God to just inform us, deal with us. Uh, there are some things that we might uh, need to be prepared and grow in so that we can be more effective in ministering to others. And so God wants his people free. And it's a reality that many Christians, they come to church every week, but they live in bondage in particular areas. And I believe that there are some things that through the word of God and through our putting some things into practice, because it could be the right medicine that is going to bring uh, healing to your body. But if you just leave it there in the cabinet and say, yeah, I went and I picked up the prescription and you leave it there and you don't take it in, 
although you went and collected the right medicine, there's not going to be any impact in your body because you didn't take it in. And so in this Bible study, we're not just teaching and giving information, which is good, but we're going to take it in. And we believe the Holy Spirit is going to work some things out. So um, if you're able to make it, you're welcome to, to join us uh, on March 6th. And, uh, I'm not sure if it's a six. I, for some reason, that just came out. It is a six. So, in other words, Zerlina, I'm flowing in the Holy Ghost. All right. That's what we want. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to worship God in giving and receiving, and the Lord is going to speak to you. I want to thank you because legacy has been a faith project the whole way. Uh, there are some things that you overcame to believe God and put your trust in God. Last week I shared what God did in our lives uh, because the resources, although we did not have them a year ago, and we, we said we're going to believe God, didn't hurt for us to believe God. It doesn't hurt you to believe God. You pray for all kinds of things uh, concerning your life. I encourage you to pray concerning your giving. Lord, I need a new house. Lord, I, I need a new car. Yeah. After all these things, the Bible says those people who don't know God seek. But when you're seeking first the kingdom, your prayer requests are different. It's not about your needs, but you begin uh, to see the kingdom advance, and that becomes your burden. And those of you who have a burden for the work of the Lord, for the Word of God running swiftly, you pray about things like giving. And so my wife and I, we've been praying and confessing, declaring the Word of God, even though we didn't see it all in the natural. We saw some but there were some we didn't know where it was going to come from. And we said we want to do this in a year. And God graced us. Now faith, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, is the substance of things hoped for. If you're believing God for it, it exists and it's real. If you're believing God, it's real. Even though you don't see it in the natural, it doesn't mean that it does not exist. But faith calls those things which be not as though they were. And so I want to encourage you in your faith walk. Continue to believe and put your trust in God. Because of your faithfulness, uh, things like uh, we, we, we said last year we want to seal coat the parking lot. You guys remember that? We put a lot during Inside Out to get rid of all the potholes and things like that, but it must be maintained. And just with the amount of traffic that goes through, uh, there is repair work that needs to be done. And it's a testimony to the community. Because uh, the God we serve, uh, his, his parking lot is paved with gold. So there is excellence in the kingdom. Uh, the church is not poor, broken, run down, barely trying to make it struggle along. That's not the church. Uh, we're in the kingdom. We're in the kingdom. And so whatever God orders, he provides for in his house, the Bible says, shall be filled with glory. Uh, the glory in terms of the anointing, signs, wonders, and miracles, souls getting saved. But on the outside, it should look like the kingdom. And I praise God for you who have a heart for the house. Continue. Let's, let's continue. The parking lot, we, we, we said we're going to do it. And because of your giving and your faithfulness, uh, we're just waiting for the weather to warm up, but it's paid for. It's, it, the, the money is there. We did some renovations. We're painting. We still are going, we're, we're still believe in God for the grace to do, finish the carpeting, change the carpeting, so it's all going to come together, and uh, 
that the same way the parking lot is paid for, that is going to be paid for because God is going to strengthen you. I want to pray for those who have a heart for the house right now uh, and you want to do something over and above for the kingdom. Uh, just from your seat, uh, you, you, you have a burden to give and you want to, there's some things that you're, you're believing God to do uh, concerning a legacy I want to pray that God supernaturally uh, gives you the grace, the connections, the networks, the business ideas, uh, whatever you are in, to prosper you, however he increases you, uh, for you to be able to do what is in your heart. All right, if that's you, just raise your hand in your seat. And we're just, we, we're, we look to God for everything that we do. We walk by faith and not by sight. And you have a heart for the kingdom. You have a heart to give. And God is the one that strengthens you to do what he has placed in your heart. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, uh, for strengthening us. We love to give. Our desire is to seek for us your kingdom. And Lord, your house shall be filled with glory. And we thank you that everything that the church needs, the resources are there because you are strengthening us. Even in the marketplace, you're strengthening us, Lord God, uh, so that we don't have to worry about our own lives and how we're going to make it. Our needs are already met, but we thank